Welcome to Come Back with Erica Cobb, uniting a community of folks like yourselves who are getting ready and staying ready for their next chapters. So Saturday night, I had an episode that landed me in the ER, which was truly ironic because my husband and I decided that we were gonna stay home on Saturday, do absolutely nothing, after weeks and weeks of running around like chickens with our heads cut off and um, getting ready for this new chapter in our lives and my career. Um, but there we were, sitting on the couch, watching television when I started to ex experience these little tremors all over my body. And I told my husband, maybe we should go to like emergency urgent care or something like that. And by the time that we got up to walk out the door, I was full fledged in tremors and convulsions. Um, I was trying to put Parmex on my lips and I was literally like drilling my face um, uncontrollably and could not move my hand away. Um, really scary. So the paramedics arrived and they assessed my situation in the ambulance. And after a series of tests to make sure it wasn't something um, like a stroke or um, a heart attack, um, the paramedic William ran me through a test and asked me after how I felt. And that's when I broke down in tears because I realized that what I was experiencing was a panic attack. And I've never experienced a panic attack before. So it made me think, why would this be happening now? And I believe what it is is that I have been avoiding fear actively. And the thing about avoiding fear is that you can't just avoid one type of fear. And I believe fear comes in two forms. There is the bad fear, where it actually restricts you from doing what it is that you want to do. Um, and then there's the good fear, where it propels you into what it is that you want to do. And honestly, if it weren't for that good fear, that healthy fear, I wouldn't even have started Come Back with Erica Cobb and I wouldn't be so transparent with all of you because my biggest fear in life was putting myself out there in a way that people can kind of determine what the narrative and the meaning behind it is. But I decided that I was going to do it with the best intentions of the most openness of being real. Not Instagram real, like real real. Like this is exactly what's happening in my life because it was really important to me that someone who might be going through their dark hours sees themselves in, my, in me and my story to let them know that they're going to be okay too. So this whole thing has really um, put me in a place where I can confront my fear every week by just being open and honest with all of you and finding my strength in those of you who are getting stronger. So I've decided that I need to tap back into that fear. I need to experience the good fear and the bad fear because at the end of the day, that's really what makes us stronger and it's really how we grow. I spoke to a really intelligent person, someone far more intelligent than I, and um, he said, Erica, you know, on the road to your success, you are going to have to confront fear, face fear over and over and over again. It's the only way you'll make it. It's the only way you'll be strong. And I feel like that might be the message for a lot of you too, because at the end of the day, I'm only here for one reason, and that's to fulfill the goals and my destiny. And if I'm not doing that, then what else is there for me to do? So I'm gonna stop the panic, and I am going to absolutely acknowledge that my life is changing a little bit. I'm gonna acknowledge that that might be something that makes me a little anxious, and I'm going to live in that fear, because I believe that by living in the fear, owning the fear, that's when the fear is truly good, it's truly great, and it's the absolute way to be propelled to greatness. So come back kids, if you have something to share on this, hit me up on social media using the hashtag comebackwitherikacobb.